What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another FC24 video. Today we're going to take a look at the best options to Evo in the brand new centre-back Centurion's Evolution Path. And uh, there's, some, there's some really good ones here, there's some really fun ones. Uh, here today. So what does it cost? Nothing. This is a free one, which is always good for me, eh? And you can boost some like really good players in this one as well, which is quite nice. The requirements are max overall 83. It does have to be a centre-back, but not only a centre-back. So there are full-backs and DMs and such that are also eligible. Maximum pace has to be 79. Maximum dribbling, 75. Maximum defending, 84. Maximum physical, 85. And what you get from it is ping pass, long ball pass, three overall, which is quite nice. It gives 10 passing, which is a weird one to give, but also quite nice. And then three physical, three dribbling, three defending, three overall, as we discussed, and two pace. Now, when we look at foot.gg, we could just take the center backs from here and look at the most popular ones. And they're the most popular for a big reason. And that big reason is they are eligible for the center back slots. Uh, let's take all the center backs from here up to 83 rated so that we can have a little look. Oh, Ertz. 70,000 coins. What? She must have a secondary card somewhere. And Mario Hermoso. So these, these generally speaking, will be some of the uh, better players that are available. There's, of course, not all of them are like perfect. Now, we talked about it in the 6 p.m. video, but Gvardiol is honestly fantastic, right? He goes up to 80 pace, 85 defending, and 86 physical. For a centre-back, he's got really good dribbling. He's got four-star weak foot, really good passing with that passing boost. And when you apply a shadow... Like, he, he, like, I don't even think this a might in this one. He's the best one, right? So, if you're a Man City fan, you're probably loving life right now because he's awesome. He goes up to 90 acceleration and 88 six sprint speed, whilst mostly lengthy. Incredible defensive stats, very good physical stats, very good passing and dribbling, and has block plus the new passing styles that they get, jockey and power header. So, some really cool play styles in there for him as well. It's a nice addition. We've got Konate from Liverpool, who already had block bruiser and aerial. Not bad play styles at all. He obviously gains the two passing play styles as well. The thing I don't like about Konate, uh, obviously, if you're a Liverpool fan, you're probably really happy. You're probably going to do him. And with the shadow, <coughs> he's lengthy with 95 sprint speed, which is great. But the pace split is a bit weird. Defending is really, really good. Other than stamina, physical is really, really good. Passing is good. That dribbling, though, that low agility and low balance, from what I've discovered from my own experience on FC24, low agility, low balance centre-backs are not ideal, um, You know, especially when you're like trying to run and turn against those R1 dribble spammers. It's really, really hard. And so, yeah, I think he's a good option if you're a Liverpool fan, but I wouldn't personally be going out of my way uh, to complete him. We've also got Nacho Fernandez gets a really nice upgrade. He's already been eligible for a prior evolution, I believe. Um, similar on him... The pace split, not the best. The play styles are really good. He's got intercept, which I personally think is a brilliant play style for, set for defenders. He has got very good defending and physical. <clears throat> good passing. Um, not the greatest, but then 67 dribbling and 68 agility. I personally just don't like it. And again, I think I, I would rather just use like uh, Eder Militao or uh, Rudiger or even David Alaba over Nacho Fernandez Evo. So unless you're like happy to evo him and then wait for like another upgrade i wouldn't be focusing on that and similar with a kanji right a kanji's evo is not bad the problem for a kanji is vardy all exists for the man city players uh, if you're building a swiss team though it's pretty good he has got the slide tackle play style which again i actually do really like uh, he gets really good pace really good defending good physicals and really good passing. But again, that Julian balance is not the worst, actually. I, I don't mind his dribbling. I do think he's a really good option. He's got the four-star weak foot as well, which is great. And, and he, he's a prime example, I think, of Evo's being repeatable would be nice, right? Even if it's a paid repeatable one. You know, you complete it first time for free, second time 150,000 coins. If you're a Man City fan, you're definitely going to go and do Akanji, and you're definitely going to go and do Gavardiol. And why not, right? Why not? We've got Medina, an inform. Now, his card is already good. And so the fact that he can be evolved up to an 86 rated, he's only got two-star weak foot. He's got very good passing stats with this upgrade. Very good pace, very good defending, a very good physical. And again, a little low on agility, but not too bad. And then just generally good uh, like dribbling. And he's got slight tackle and bruiser as well, which are really good play styles. He's a really good option. Uh, Lens last year had a lot of really good cards. Um, I don't know how easy he is to link this year. You've got Lekka, the goalkeeper, and Machado. Machado is not ideal, 
Um, but even just having Leca Medina and then like a French league manager from one of the nations, French or Argentinian, if, whichever one you don't have in the rest of your team, not too bad. Three chemistry on one, two chemistry on the other. You don't mind it too, too much. We've got Tadebo, another inform. He's got long ball, jockey and block. Of course, long ball is one of the things that he gets for the uh, upgrade. So he only gains the ping pass. Jockey and block again, I like a lot. Um, I think this is a brilliant card because once you pop the shadow on him, his defending is one of the elite level defender style defendings. 93 sprint speed whilst lengthy, 80 acceleration, cracking passing, cracking physicals. Again, a little heavy in certain dribbling out areas, but defensively absolutely brilliant. And then Nathan Ake, the third Man City player. Um, I quite like Ake, to be fair, because, again, he doesn't have the play styles, unfortunately. Um, but three-star weak foot, medium-high work rates, and he's just brilliant dribbling for a centre-back. Very good physicals, very good passing across the board, very good pace and very good defending. And so, again, imagine if you're a Man City fan and you pay three for the first one, 150k for each of the second ones. Who says no? Who says no? It's not like they're, like, game-breaking either. Now, of course, Joel Matip had the uh, capabilities to be upgraded before. So if you did a uh, pacey protector on Joel Matip, some of the others might have had as well, um, but we'll get to the, the like chain devos uh, shortly. Joel Matip with just a Centurion centre-back, not very good. Joel Matip, once pacey protector has been applied as well, if you would have told me at the start of this year that by the beginning of November, we'd have an incredibly usable, dare I say, brilliant... Matip card, I'd have been like, no chance. But, yeah, he's 95 sprint speed, lengthy, which is great. Incredible defending, incredible physicals, and incredible passing, including like, really good vision as well. The only thing he lacks is that balance and agility, but I think he's good. Robertson's special card in this game is brilliant. Van Dyke in this game is brilliant. And although Trent lacks a little bit of pace, he's also brilliant. You can actually have that Liverpool back four or back five of Allison as well. And it's just going to be amazing for you. If you're a Liverpool fan, your defence is sorted for your Liverpool Evo setup. <clears throat> now, Ertz here. Not for the life of me, figure out why she's 70,000 coins. Very strange. It becomes quite a good card with a, I mean, a really good card. In a DM as well, I'd really like, I don't mind this as a DM. Really good play styles. A little heavy on the dribbling, but great physicals defending a pace. I just don't know why she's so expensive. Hermoso, now we're getting into the kind of like niche players. Like for someone like Hermoso, you've really got to be an Atletico Madrid fan or something like that because he gets good pace, good defending, good physicals, good passing, and again, good dribbling. <clears throat> but he's probably on the lower end. I don't know. He's good. He's good. He is like, he's got good play styles as well. I quite like Hermoso. And then Lindelof's another one of those ones that you needed to put into AC Protector first. But if you're a Man United fan, I mean, his, his passing is exceptional. His physical is very good. His defending is brilliant. His pace is good. And then his dribbling, other than agility and balance, is very good. He just, he's got four-star weak foot as well, which is great. He just doesn't have the play styles. I wonder why they chose passing play styles and big passing boosts on the defenders. Maybe to help pass out of the back, I guess. And we've got Pau Torres. I actually like Pau Torres a lot. I think he's a good option. Again, no, no good play styles. Um, but once gets that upgrade, little lacking in uh, dribbling. But as far as a centre-back goes, that's not actually that bad dribbling. We've just seen some options that are brilliant. But his pace defending physical is really good. His passing is really good, as you would expect. And then he's got power header, ping pass, and the new other play style as well. And then Romero, I think the problem with Romero is, is he has already got an inform that is a boost very similar. Probably even bigger, I dare say. So I wouldn't really go with Romero personally. So those are like the default cards that you've got, guys as like good options for upgrades, but there are some fantastic chain upgrade options available as well. And we're going to be starting with Mason Holgate. So if you give him Trailblazer centre-back, oh, and then Centurions. As, yeah, see, I'm going, to, I'm going to ignore anything as always with Welcome to Evolutions, right? That's the best all-time path would take him to an 86. But if you did do Holgate, first of all, what was you thinking? But second of all, brilliant. Um, but you can now do Holgate and get him up to an 85 from a 74, and he's got really good stats. And if you're a Southampton fan, I mean, those stats are wild, to be fair. Really good pace, some really good play styles. He's got aerial, power header, slide tackle, and acrobatic on top of the new two past, uh, past ones that you get. Physically brilliant, defensively brilliant, pace brilliant, controlled lengthy, incredible passing, incredible dribbling, and a three-star weak foot. That's a mad one. That's a really, really good one. 
Um, we've got Gatoni from uh, Sevilla. His stats don't look great to start with. So we've got the, where's his all Federico? So his best all time is his best current active. And he also goes from a 74 to an 85. Oh my God, this is a good card. Also has like basically the identical play styles to Holgate. With a shadow, he's mostly lengthy with great pace, great defending, great physicals, great passing, and very, very good dribbling for a centre-back. That's an absolutely wild... He's got four-star weak foot as well. That is a wild, wild card. I'll tell you something as well, what I'm interested in, right? When an Evo opens up that allows him to get upgraded again, he's going to be like team of the season level. Even if it's only like an 88 rated, you add like an extra plus three across the board on these stats. And all of a sudden, your physicals, defending, and pace are like elite tier, passing elite tier, big dribbling boost. Like these cards are like crazy. We've got Chris Richards from Crystal Palace. And uh, this is also his best all time Trailblazer into Centurions. A little low on dribbling, incredible passing boost. Um, mostly lengthy with 97 sprint speed, four star weak foot. Also has uh, aerial and acrobatic and power header. It's like carbon copies of each other. Incredible defending, very good physicals. Yeah, good dribbling. That's another fun one. If you're a Palace fan, happy days. You've got Richards in the bag. Milang Saar from Chelsea. I saw some of the Chelsea fans in my chat complaining that there's no good ones for Chelsea. Well, assuming that you haven't already used Saar, um, or you haven't already used Trailblazer centre back on somebody else, you can get Saar up to an 85 with a shadow. That's a quality card. He's also got acrobatic. Bruiser and power header. He says maybe it's just bugged. Surely not all of these centre backs can have these, unless you get these play styles from some from the other one, maybe. Um, but yeah, Saar with a shadow, two star, two star, not the best. Pace brilliant, passing genuinely brilliant, physicals brilliant, defending brilliant, dribbling very good with eighty eight composure. That's a really cool card. I actually think he would make a really good DM with stats like that. He couldn't shoot. But that's a really good card. That's really nice. We've got Jana from uh, Liga F. So her best all time includes something that's not available now. Yeah, this is a good card. Again, good physicals, great defending, great dribbling. 93 reactions, excuse me, 85 composure. Okay, something has to be wrong. Either, either that or Trailblazer centre back offers those uh, boosts. Power header and acrobatic and aerial. There you go. That's why. That's why. Because the Trailblazer centre back gave those. Who did I do in Trailblazer centre back? Maybe I'm still doing it actually. That's that's why I'm like everyone's a carbon copy of each other, um, but they're not. They are because of that. But yeah, defending brilliant. She looks really fun. Really fun. If you've got like a Barcelona team or a women's team, she looks really fun. How tall is she? Five foot four. A little bit tough. We have got uh, Masovic. Masovic goes up here to an 80. Four. Dribbling a bit poor. Otherwise very good. And it's, it does seem like every player is kind of in the same vein of like, this is what they become. Even with Alvarez here. Wow, he's got seven play styles. I respect that. Yeah, that's a really good card with those seven play styles. Can play at centre-back, but he's a left-back by default, which is probably why he's got decent crossing in there as well. I wouldn't play him at left-back. Would I play him at left back? I actually probably would play him at left back. Very good pace, very good defending and physicals, really good play styles, and then 99 crossing, 92 short passing. I, I don't mind him at left back, actually. We've got Costa, another left back that's uh, eligible to be a centre back. Yeah, that's a brilliant card, isn't it? So he's got eight play styles altogether once you get the both evolutions up on him. Great dribbling, great defending, great physicals, good passing, great pace. Three-star, three-star. That is a quality card. How tall is he? He's five foot ten. Not bad. Delcroix from Burnley. I tell you what, Burnley have had some very, very, very good evolutions so far. Delcroix is another one. Two-star, two-star, not the best, but passing, brilliant. Dribbling, very good outside of just literal dribbling. Pace is good. The split is a bit weird, but he's control lengthy, so it's fine. Defending is good. Big fan of him. Big fan of him. We've got Is Ismajli. Ismajli. 
is marginally appreciated that this guy gets upgraded to an 83. Yeah, he's got anticipate as well. I, I, I'll tell you something, guys. I personally this year think play styles are far more important than in-game stats. And anticipate is the best one. Especially for defenders and defensive midfielders, anticipate is by far the best one. And so the fact that he's got now great pace, great defending, good physicals, good passing, good dribbling, and anticipate, he's a, he's a lights-out good player, man. That's a really good one. We've got Robertson, Robert, Robinson from uh, Sheffield United. Picked up a win today. Congratulations to them. Um, really, really fun dribbling on him. Yeah, okay, like he's got a giant throw as well, which is quite mad. He, he's a fun one. How tall is he? If he's mad tall, he's going to be brilliant. He's only 5'11", that's a shame. And then we've got Sildilia. Now, Sildilia's got an 83 rated already, right? If we uh, look at his 83 rated and compare it to his Evo card. Wow. The differences are incredible. The Evo card, same positions, obviously. Same two star, three star. Way more play styles. One more pace. Seven more passing. Two more defending and three more physical. This Sildilia is cracked. Absolutely cracked. With a shadow, incredible pace, and obviously drops in at centre back. Incredible defending, incredible physicals, good passing, good dribbling, loads of play styles. What a card. What a card. And then we've got five more to finish off, guys, which are cards that are no longer eligible to be completed now. But yeah, here we go. Best all times. Bassong from a 60 rated. Up to an 87 rated, 14 pace, 22 shooting, 25 passing, 27 dribbling, 26 defending, and 23 physical. Oh my days, man. I think the like bronze to gold upgrades are even bigger than normal because they tend to be really well rounded at just an extremely low end. And so when you get to a situation like this, where for a centre back, if if you did him, I don't know why you would have done, but if you did. Oh, the play styles are incredible. The dribbling is incredible. The pace, the defending, the physical, that is a very fun one. We've also got Stark, which you can, at the moment, take from a 74 to an 82. But his best all-time is a 74 to an 86. Intercept plus. With the shadow, great pace, great defending and physical, great passing and dribbling. Yeah, that's a fun one. And he's got DM availability. Yeah, that's a fun one. We've also got Becca Becca. So good. They named him twice. Oh, look at this path. Now, it's a shame. Like, maybe EA will one day do, like, re-ups of old uh, Evo paths. You know, maybe, like, in a, a hist you know, uh, like a, flat, uh, uh, a flashback week or something where they're like, look, you know, we'll go back in time. Let's give you some of the best ones that we've had. We might be able to do this sort of thing. But Becca Becca from a 70 up to an 86 rated. Oh, my good Lord. Real cool play styles, two star, three star, CDM, center back, and center mid. Incredible stats. That is a really fun card. And again, you most likely didn't do him <laughs> in any of these ones here. But if you did, you're loving it right now. We've got Marco O'Connor as well. Marco O'Connor went from a 67. Now, we've actually looked at him a few times because he's he's been fun in some of these. But this card. It's hard. He has got unbelievable play styles. With the shadow, great dribbling, great defending, good pace, great passing, great passing, and good physicals. And of course, can play CDM and center mid, and that's exactly where I'd play him. This, this is like icon level. Maybe low tier icon level, but icon level from a silver card at the start of the game. And then last but not least, we've got Giulini. Giulini's best path, best all time from a 74 up to an 85. Three star, three star. Yeah, I mean, press proven and relentless. Good play styles there with a shadow. Great pace. Great defending. Great dribbling. Very good physicals and passing. Very fun card. Another Swiss card that's very good. Guys, there are an unbelievable amount of really cool Evo paths. And I hope people are like leaning into the Evo stuff on their game with the way they play because... If you even like look at the Evo that is available just today and you think to yourself, oh, maybe I support a team where like a really, a really poor card. Um, let's go to like page 100. You know, maybe you're a fan of like this guy, Dikan, right? And you're like, oh, what's even the point for me? Because all I can do is this. Um, you know, 
Is he not, he's not even eligible for Centurion's center back. Maybe he's not. Um, no, he must be. It's just not his best active, that's all. Yeah, if you're like, oh, all I can do is this for him, and you're like, what's even the point? Trust me, do it anyway, because when he fits into another one, and then another one, and maybe another one, he's going to be an elite level card, and you're going to be looking at him going, I'm so glad I did this, I'm so glad I invested the time. However, for today, that is going to be the end of the video. Let me know your favorite Evos down below. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time. I'm out. Peace.